This is the Simpsons home. Good old 742 Evergreen Terrace as we know and love it. But do we really know it? I mean, here's a little thing. Uh, do you recognize this room? Homer, it's really coming down. Could you check on the boys? They're fine. I sure don't. But better yet, tell me, what does this door in the foyer lead to? Did you guess the basement? Well, you'd be correct. Did you guess the bathroom? <clears throat> no smoke detector. Let's roll. Also correct. Did you guess the closet? Patty and Selma will be here any minute. Oh no. Better ride this one out in the closet. Sorry, Dad. This is our spot. Correct again. Wow, you're really good at this. So, yeah, if you can't tell, the Simpsons household isn't exactly bound by the laws of reality, and today I'm showing you exactly why the Simpsons home just doesn't make any sense. So before we begin, let's look at the canonical layout of the Simpsons home, according to a former writer. To start, let's take a look at the first floor. Pretty surreal to see what the writers refer to when making the show, to be honest. <laughs> We've got all the mainstays, the dining room, the living room, the kitchen, the entryway, or foyer if you're fancy, the patio complete with six windows looking out, two are covered in this scene. I can't believe it! <laughs> the garage. I knew all this stuff would come in handy someday. And of course, the TV room. How come you can watch cartoons but the kids can't? Because. Because why? Because I said so. But look carefully the top right room of that layout. Uh, we're forgetting about the rumpus room. Now, I, I know what you're thinking. That can't be a real room. Who, who would ever name something a rumpus room? Rick and Morty? But amazingly, it really is an actual room, Rick and Morty not included, and it's been seen several times throughout the series. In fact, it's actually one of the more consistently placed rooms in the house. Take a look. Homer, it's really coming down. Could you check on the boys? They're fine. Here it is in Three Men in a Comic Book, where we can see Homer watching over the kids through a window on the outside. Sure enough, look back at that graph, and the room has a window that'd be in perfect view of the treehouse. <laughs> and here it is in the background, while Homer's in the garage, and Itchy and Scratchy and Marge, and once again, if we look at that layout, we can see it's right there where you'd expect it to be. <laughs> can you point to the monkey? <laughs> what do babies know? In the case you had any more doubts, here it is in the episode Lady Beauvoir's Lover. You can even see the tree through the window yet again, though it looks like they rearranged the furniture so the TV is in front of it rather than to the side. A little change, but as you'll see, not nearly as bad as things can get with these rooms. But even still, despite it being as reliable as it is, the writers have the gall to make this joke about our cherished rumpus room. Is there any chance you'd have a spare room for us? Rec room off the kitchen? But sometimes it's there and sometimes it isn't. Simpson staff, the rumpus room is actually consistent and as such is my favorite room in the house. And I won't have you slander it! You wanna talk inconsistent? Well then, let's let's talk about this hallway. Let's take a good look at this scene from Lisa's Substitute. It starts off with Marge and Lisa in the basement and then has them go up these stairs, exit into the hallway, and then out into the kitchen. When Mr. Bergstrom smiles, see these teeth. But when you really make him laugh, these two teeth, I think they're called the eye teeth. They're absolutely perfect. I notice little things about your father, too. No, Mom. I mean, this man makes you feel like there's nobody better. Your father does that to me. Are we going to talk or are we going to talk? We can talk, but first you have to accept the fact that I feel that way about your father. Yesterday, he read a Charlotte's Web and cried at the end. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Where do I even begin? First off, we haven't talked about the basement yet because quite frankly, it's about as consistent as Homer is on a diet. The way Marge and Lisa enter the kitchen actually implies that they'd be exiting from the garage, which we know isn't the case. We'll talk more about that nightmare in the basement later, but for now, let me ask you this very important question. Where is the door to the rumpus room? Because I can't see it. The cursed hallway took away my favorite room, the humanity! Yeah, the door to the rumpus room is missing entirely, and we know this is the same hallway that leads to the garage because of scenes like this. <laughs> Thanks for calling, kids. A new message every day. Maggie! I asked you to watch your sister. Look past Maggie dangling like a chandelier and take a peek at the hallway. What's that goofy-looking room in the hallway? It's the rumpus room, dang it! In plain view! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll calm down now. 
I just get really passionate about rumpus rooms, man. But okay, now that we know for certain that the hallway is supposed to have those two doors only, let's see just how wrong this hallway is most of the time. Let's look at the episode Duffless. In this shot, you can see the door to the glorious room of Rumpus, as well as a mystery door at the end of the hallway. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this is the way to the basement, considering how we saw Marge and Lisa come up from there and into the hallway earlier, but, uh... Maybe not. That's the door in the foyer. Oh, and if you want to get even more confused, here's the mystery door disappearing again in the episode of the Canine Mutiny, because that makes sense. What, do they seal off the room? What dark stuff? What, what chicanery is going on in there? Is it evil? Murder going on? Murder? 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 He's so smart. And so handsome. Hi, Marge. Hi, Santa's little helper. Hi, kid. Let's move upstairs for a bit before we take a look at the most inconsistent room in the series. Trust me, it's infuriating. So let's once more take a look at the official layout for the upstairs. Again, we got all the main hitters. Everything you'd expect. The main hall. The bathroom. Hey, look, is that dad? Either that or Batman's really let himself go. Maggie's room. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sleep well, Maggie. <laughs> three for three. Bart's room. If just me, Milhouse, and Lewis had voted. Would you have to do extra work? Yeah. Would you have gotten any money for being class president? No. And is this Martin guy going to get to do anything neat? Huh? Well, no. So let the baby have his bottle. Lisa's room. Lisa, don't hold anything back. You can tell me. Are you crying because you called daddy a baboon? No! Yo! Look, if you just want me to forgive no, you... No, no, no. I just wish I knew what to say. Although, maybe this music will help. You lost someone special and it hurts. I'm lucky because I never lost anyone special. Everyone special to me is under this roof. Oh, you'll have lots of special people in your life, Lisa. Marge in Homer's room. You know, Marge, I was thinking about how much I enjoy your interest. I wandered over to that theater you went to and I bought tickets to their entire season. And of course, their bathroom. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Now, while we don't really have any disappearing locations up here, that's not to say that these bedrooms are without issue. And the biggest example of this is in the episode of My Sister, My Sitter. To put it simply, these rooms are shuffled around more than a deck of cards. Let's just take a look at this scene. Lisa's just gone upstairs to check if Bart is in his room. His room seems to be in the right position, but just a door down, we've got Bart jumping in this room. You didn't say which bed. Now, according to the official chart, this room really should be Lisa's. But I think this is Marge and Homer's room right now, which in this case may make sense, actually. As Bart's room in the beginning of the episode sees him looking out a front-facing window, which would be impossible according to our handy-dandy little layout. Thanks for the ride. Well, you did a first-rate job of babysitting. Now, normally, it'd only be Maggie in her parents' room that could see out front, but maybe Bart and Maggie switched rooms so he could have a front-ways view? Well, actually, no! With Lisa going out this window to get around to Bart, she'd have to go through a front-facing room's window, meaning Maggie's room is also now in the front alongside Bart. And don't even get me started on the non-existent tree she climbs! There's never been a tree in front of the house. Does your head hurt yet? Mine sure does. So yeah, these windows are actually our biggest clue on where the room is located. Most of the time, things are actually where they should be. Case in point, look at Bart of Darkness. There's Bart in his room, exactly where it should be, overlooking the backyard. Oh look, there's Bart. Wave to him. See, all is right in the world. Until he looks out his window and sees Flanders' house. Oh my God, what have I done? I've killed her. You'd kind of need a side-facing window to get a glimpse like this, even with a telescope. So, I mean, there goes my compliment to Bart of Darkness. Oh, okay, but, but what about Lisa's room? Well, here it is, where it should be in Hurricane Nettie. Dad, wake up! The hurricane is coming! 
there's no record of a hurricane ever hitting Springfield. The records only go back to 1978. All of records was mysteriously blown away. Isn't that perfect? Lisa can look at Homer in his hammock and not have to deal with looking at cars rolling down the street. And it matches the layout. Beautiful. Mwah. And here it is in Lisa the Simpson with a front-facing window. Lisa, honey, wake up. Why bother? Because your father has a big surprise. I'm adopted. Better. Come on. Lisa, it's me, Daddy. I rounded up every Simpson in the Tri-City area. Prove to you there's nothing wrong with the Simpson genes. <sighs> We were so close. Dang it! But okay, we covered the first floor. It's mostly consistent. We covered the second floor. It's inconsistent beyond all belief. Now it's time to look at a room beyond our comprehension. I think it's time we, alas, finally talk about the Simpsons basement. Check out this little snippet of some enchanted evening. Run for it! Pause! Before we continue, there's more evidence of the rumpus room existing with a foosball table in the back for all you skeptics. Take a look at where Bart entered the basement. Bart! He went in through a door on the side of the stairs in the foyer. Now, I mean, according to the episode of Bart the Mother... Yeah, okay, enough of that clip. You get the bit. <laughs> Disregard Homer breaking his spine and notice that this is certainly not the same place where Bart went to hide out from his evil babysitter. I mean, at least it's in the foyer, I guess. That's kind of similar to the clip where Homer falls down the stairs. Either way, this house has some major disappearing door issues. And it's not just confined to the interior either. Look at where the basement is in Hurricane Nettie. Everybody into the cellar. In the middle side, top wise. Now I remember why I put this down there in the first place. To be fair, they call it the cellar here, but I mean, if this really is a different room than the basement, then we've got even worse problems than just a teleporting room. We've got a disappearing room instead. I mean, I don't see any cellar basement door here, do you? Is it a pool yet? Yes, Dad. Woohoo! But if you want one more big basement appearance, look no further than the episode of The Day the Violence Died. There's a box you can sleep in. Just move that cot out of the way. Okay. Do you know what radon is? No. Bart takes a homeless man in and gives him a place to sleep, and in this shot, we see that the basement actually has stairs above it, implying that it'd be directly underneath the stairs at the second floor. Looking back at the original layout, essentially the only way this kind of makes sense is if the room was in the kitchen. But what do we see just seconds later? Spare change? Yep, that's Homer chucking money down the basement. But it should be the door to the rumpus room. Not only does that just not make any sense with the stair ceiling, but it also replaces my favorite room in the entirety of existence ever. That's low. So what do we know about this reality warping room? It disappears, reappears, shifts location, is where the garage would be, is called multiple names, and is just generally wherever it needs to be for a joke, I guess. Which, hey, you know what? Fair enough, it's a cartoon. It's the least consistent room in the series in my opinion, but you know what? Also, it's got Bender in it, so it's still got more points in that hallway in my book. Inexcusable! Yeah! Hello, Robert. We sent Bender back in time to kill Homer before the monsters could evolve from him. So how does the Simpsons house actually work? In my opinion, it just doesn't. Click the video on screen for more of my videos, and thank you so much for watching.